It makes drawings in the air. But plastic comes out of the end of the drawing arm and hardens as it comes. This thing will start at one end of a ship or a house and build it complete to the other end, following drawings only. Leinster, things pass by. Doesn't that sounds a lot like a 3D printer? In 1945, author Murray Leinster, aka William Fitzgerald Jenkins, wrote that in a short story called, Things Pass By. When you think of 3D printing, you likely think of hobbyists printing out small, plastic objects. Well, it might have started that way, but you would be amazed to what it has become. In this video, we're going to look at how 3D printing and construction works, and if the benefits of this relatively new construction tech outweigh its challenges. 3D printing can actually do much more than that. It is used for a huge variety of products and mechanisms. For example, furniture, movie props, prosthetic limbs, medical products, and even automotive and aerospace parts. Now, with the advent of printable construction materials, small homes are already being built. However, many think that 3D printing is poised to take over the construction sector on a much larger scale than just small houses. Some even claim that, we could see 3D printers at every construction site by 2025. 3D printing, also referred to as additive manufacturing, is a set of technologies that create 3D objects by adding material to make a whole. Essentially, 3D printers take a design from a digital file and print it out in sequential layers. This can come in as simple a form as creating a toy car, to as complex as rocket engine parts. In construction, 3D printing works in pretty much the same way but on a larger scale. Some materials currently being used for 3D printing in construction are concrete, cement, mortar, plastic, mud, rice waste, sand, and even metal and stone. In the 2010s products like the MakerBot made their debut. These small 3D printers allowed average people to 3D print their own designs at home. This is when 3D printing first entered public consciousness and companies began marketing at home 3D printers for casual use. In reality, 3D printing has been around for decades in some form or another. You wonder when 3D printers became a reality? In 1980 Charles Hull created the first ever 3D printer. His design used the method of stereolithography, which essentially is where an object is printed in layers. The design sent data from a digital file to a 3D printer to build up a resin object one layer at a time. In the 1990s 3D printing technology began to mature. Bioengineers began to use 3D printing technology to create artificial tissue, organs and prosthetic limbs. CAD software was also developed that would allow people to create 3D models on a computer. Nowadays, 3D printing has greatly improved and proven itself to be extremely useful in many industries. From the medical industry to building cars and plane parts and even printing out food, 3D printing seems to have boundless potential. One of those areas of potential is, of course, in architecture and construction. How does 3D printing fit in architecture and construction? It is potentially more sustainable than traditional construction materials. It allows for more precise measurements which saves materials and resources. In fact, by one estimation, 3D printing generates 60% less waste than the average construction site. In some cases, 3D printing can even use sustainable materials, like recycled plastic. Because you are using a predetermined and precise amount of materials with minimal waste, 3D printing can save a lot of money on materials. Additionally, 3D printing requires a smaller crew to build each project, saving companies money on labor. 3D printing is much faster than traditional construction. While a normal building can take months to complete, small 3D printed buildings can be completed in mere hours to a few days. It is estimated that 1 in 10 construction workers are injured each year. Because 3D printing allows construction crews to be less involved with the more hazardous parts of building such as working at tall heights and lifting heavy materials, it can prove to be much safer. For architects and contractors, 3D printing can be hugely beneficial for flexibility in their designs. 3D printing allows you to customize and make changes up until the point of printing. This gives architects the freedom to make changes without delaying construction. 
Like any great invention, there are challenges to 3D printing in construction as well. Although companies may save money on labor, the cost of the printer itself is still very expensive. Since the printers are large, there are also issues in the cost to transport them as well as the cost of maintenance. In construction, 3D printing is still a relatively new technology. This means that many workers will not be skilled enough with complex 3D printing construction projects. This could lead to difficulty hiring qualified workers. All construction projects must deal with Mother Nature. However, the nature of 3D printing means that it may be even more vulnerable to the elements. This could cause delays in the project. Overall, the future looks bright for 3D printing in architecture and construction. 3D houses and even entire neighborhoods are already being built around the world. If the industry can overcome some of the challenges that 3D printing on construction sites presents, it could expand even more. In the future we may see not only private homes, but housing complexes, bridges, and other large buildings made primarily using 3D printing. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.